So first, I am going to prime my face. I already did my eyebrows off camera. I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Get Brow Pomade, this beauty right here. I have been trying a new way to do my eyebrows. Um, I feel like I used to fill them in a little more heavier than what I should have been doing, so I'm using a different technique on how I fill in my eyebrows. So I think this year I am gonna be doing a brow tutorial for you guys to show you how I do my brows. So for primer today, I am gonna be using my Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer. This is the first time I've ever purchased this primer. I've heard really good things about this primer. I love how it feels on my face. Um, Yeah, I love how this primer feels. It's super smooth and it really hydrates my skin. And yeah, it's really good. Because it's the winter time, my skin is more dry at the moment. So the more moisturizer and primer that I use, I feel like my face won't be flaky and my makeup won't look gross. So I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the color... <gasps> That's why! Oh my god, I got medium. I swear the box said medium. And this is tan sand. That's why it's been so light for me. I've been trying to figure out why this shit is so light. Oh my god, I'm not using this. So I'm just gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and just put some of that on my lid. And I'm just gonna blend this out all over my lid. And I'm just priming my lid before I go ahead and apply my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and I am just gonna apply that on my lid. So I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Warm Obsessions palette. So I'm going to be taking this first shade right here and I'm going to be applying that in my crease. And I am taking my BH Studios Cosmetic uh, number 5 brush. Last month in the beginning of December, I helped do like a makeup workshop for older women and it was for the company Arbonne. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people don't really use Arbonne, but, um, yeah, so I helped them out and they gave me some free makeup. I'm going to be using that in this look today. I'm going to go in with this shade right here and I'm going to apply that as my next transition color. Lift it up and see, and I'm just going to go ahead and darken that up. Going back in with the Huda Beauty palette, I am going to be taking that color right here and I'm going to be applying that in the crease as well just to darken it up some more. Yeah. And then with that shade again, I'm just going to pop that above that burgundy color a little bit so I don't lose that warm brown transition that I love. So now I'm just going to be packing that all over my lid because I want to do something cool with the eyeliner. So I'm just going to place this all over the lid and just darken this up. So I'm just sweeping some of that that burgundy shade on my lash, my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take some of that orange and kind of sweep that under as well. I'm going to take this Marc Jacob eyeliner and apply it on my lower lash line. I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics 107 brush to create this liner. And what I'm going to do, the same thing I do with my regular liner.
So that's the first liner. Now I'm literally going to do the same thing to the other side and then I'm going to set it with like the same nude shade. So I asked my husband if I should add some black to this. He thinks I should add a simple black liner under this. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking my Bobbi Brown um, Longwear Gel Eyeliner and this is in black ink. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that and apply a very simple liner on the bottom. Okay, so I went ahead and I added some of this in the corner and then I did like a cat eye. I like it so far. It's different. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. So we'll see. I'm going to do the other side and then I'm going to pop some lashes on and then we're going to get to the base. My eyes are finished. I am going to go ahead and move on to my foundation. For this video, I am going to be using my Lancome foundation. Don't ask me, you guys know. I'm not good with names. I'll have it linked down below. This is in the shade 470 and I am just going to go ahead and go in with that. Yeah, ew, I look so orange. Let's turn this down. Hopefully this will turn it down. So what? So I use my LA Girl Concealer um, because I'm not going to be using that shape tape because obviously I got the wrong shade. So yeah, this is what happens when you let people color match you. Usually I do my own color matching, um, but this time I let someone color match me and I got the wrong foundation, clearly. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that with my Laura Mercier powder. For bronzer, I'm using my Bobbi Brown. This is the only bronzer I use because I'm in love with it. I got a new contour brush. Yes, I did. This brush, it's from Japanese and it is $28. It is the best investment I've ever, like, this is the best brush I've ever bought in my life. It is soft as hell. Like, I love this brush. Like, $28. I will, I don't, mm, yeah, I don't spend a lot of money on my brushes, but this brush was worth every penny. So, I'm just going to go ahead and warm up my cheeks with this amazing brush. And it's so soft and it gives me the perfect contour that I want. I look so glam. Yes, honey. I love it. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe away that excess powder with this big Morphe S15 brush. I love Morphe brushes. I'm going to be using my Topaz by Becca Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite highlighters um, that I own. I'm just going to apply that right here. And I'm just going to make sure I stay in this area. I'm not going to go too far in because I don't want highlighter here. I hate when people have highlighter there. Um, is right in this area. I guess if the light doesn't catch it, that means you need more, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take my NYX lingerie lipstick. This is in the shade Teddy. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my lips. And I'm going to take that same color I put right here and just place a little bit right here. I 
Then I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and set my makeup. Just bathe in it, you know, just spread it right. And that is the finished look. I don't know what to call this look. I don't know where I'm going with this look, but I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And until my next video, I'll see you soon. Bye.